Hello YouTube world. This is Dantastic, Dantastic doing stuff. Today I'm going to teach you how I taught my Ridgeback how to pull, bike jorn, and uh, be a sled dog. I had zero experience with this. Obviously, she's a hound. She had zero experience with this. And I waited till she was about six months old and it still worked. I got the Ridgeback Dad shirt on today specifically for this video. It was a gift. There she goes. It was a gift from my daughter for birthday. My birthday. Here's the Rosie, the little one you just saw running around that was Chili. Uh, when we trained Rosie, there was no Chili to interfere, so it may be a little bit interesting. So there's a few things we have to do right off the bat. Important cues for your dog. Remember, any word works. It's a dog. You say apple, if you want her to turn left, she knows apple means turn left. If you want to say in Spanish, English, German, whatever. A lot of people like German because it sounds cool when training their dogs. We had a dog before where she learned the word cookie too much for biscuits that we had to start using the word galleta which is spanish for cookie and she caught onto that one too so oh speaking of cookies she just sniffed my cookies out of my pocket for it uh so the few words you need to know you need to get the dog to go so that could be i use the word pull i've been trying to use the word go to make her go faster i haven't trained her enough on that one you got to be able to stop you don't want a car without brakes so we use the word stop. Uh, you gotta be able to turn left and right. Some people uh, want a, a sharp left. If you're really getting into it, if you're really doing the uh, hardcore bike joint or the hardcore sled dogging, hard left for almost a 180. Yeah, we're not really doing that here. Uh, we don't, I unfortunately haven't had enough time to do that. So starting off with how we taught her stop because brakes are the most important thing. may not work in the backyard we did it on the road and this was before I even started training her how to pull I would just go on a walk with her come on come on girl stop put the camera on the dog come on girl stop you see how fast she stopped when I said stop come on G G come on girl good girl I'm not holding the leash real hard stop so what we would do is when my daughter and I would take her on walks or I would do it on myself or she would do it by herself every time we went to a crossroad I would say stop one reason I was thinking about bike join second reason I don't want her crossing roads without my permission uh, that, that does save that does limit the chance of her getting run over so that's a pretty big deal for me I always say stop before we hit a road and then she'll sit there and I say come or go and she'll come with me I think the chili dog's running off somewhere. Like I said, we've never done this with chili. This has only been something we've done with Rosie. Okay, now, we know how to stop. That's just training all the time. It's nothing, nothing specific. That wasn't training with cookies. That wasn't training with anything. Just me walking and telling Rosie to stop. Now, this is the way I did taught her between left and right. And I used the words, the terms uh, G for right and ha for left that's kind of what sledders use i didn't want to use left because i that's one word i taught her for her to walk on my left i didn't use heel like some people do but this is the magical treat this right here for any dog especially a ridgeback will get you anywhere any results that you want and a lot of consistency so first of all dogs typically don't like going between your legs if they're afraid they will but it's a vulnerable vulnerable spot for them to go between your legs especially for my dog she liked running under the table she liked running under everything besides my legs so I had to train her how to go between my legs Rosie come between 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 good girl good girl so first I just got her to go between and then I would tell her to sit look she already knew it was coming so it was kind of automatic take and you notice I said take that's just a word that we use for them to have the treat or have the food. That way, when something hits the ground from my kid's table, because you know they're going to drop something on the ground, they don't get it right away. At least we have a couple seconds before the dogs get it. Try not to feed them people food. So that took a while just to get her to go between. And when I started doing the between, I started doing the walk too. Come, between walk. 
I didn't do the between back or anything. See, she wants it. Sit. And now this is how you teach G and Ha. G. G. Take. And all she did was went to the right. Rosita. Come on. Between. Good girl. Ha. Oh, ha. And I just did that multiple times. Multiple. I mean, I went through boxes of these things probably. Between that and, oh, I said between, so she was coming back. Between that and just doing other things with her. Lay down, sit, come, all that business. So that's how I got the left, which is ha for me, and G, which is right for me. Like I said, it could be any word you wanted to. It could be carrot. The dog doesn't know what you're saying. All it knows is that word means turn left. This other word means turn right. Now that's good, and that's what we always did inside. And then I came outside before we went to the field on the bike and did it with her a little bit, probably not as much as I should have. But so that's our turning. We have our stopping, we have our turning, and now obviously getting comfortable between with uh, going between our legs. Next step is to teach her actually how to do it when you're front or when you're behind her. Because when she's in the, between your legs, you can start off by showing her ha and leading her with the cookie, but eventually you just hold the cookie and say ha or G, and then she'll go left or go right, and that's when you give it to her. So we're gonna push stop here and I'm gonna get the other leashes. leashes. Now what's important is I have two different length leashes. Okay, they're both on her collar. Now what I actually did before, I had a, uh, a harness, not the pulling harness that you've seen in my other videos, but I had a harness that I had for a dog years ago that I just kept. And uh, to me, that kind of taught her when she has a harness on, that means she's gonna pull but if I have it hooked to her collar, I mean, she's going to stay beside me and not pull. She was a puller as a puppy. It was really hard to get her to stop pulling. So I wanted her to differentiate. And I learned that from being at a dog park where a, a guy had a trained, one of those trained $15,000 dogs that as soon as the vest went on him, it was all business. When he took that vest off, he ran around and played and was, it was a fun little German, uh, not little, but fun, big German shepherd. So I thought about doing that the same th same. Now it's choking her. Now uh, I thought about doing the same thing with her and so far it's worked. So what I'll do, this one, the short one, I have two different color ones to make it easier for you guys to see. Uh, the short one will be the one where I'm actually holding some tension on. The long one will be the one that I use to turn her one way or another. I haven't done this with her for a long time and her little sister here is bringing her bone out. You see that? showing her what she has and she doesn't so we'll see how this goes rosie straight straight come on now you hear noises come on straight so i'm going straight if i want her to turn left ha ha straight straight g g g come on g this is a much smaller area than we're used to doing i used to take her to the field come on chili go Good job. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm pulling because she's not doing ha, so I'm pulling hard on it. Ha. Good girl. Good girl, Rosie. Good girl. All the time giving her praise. Okay, ha, ha. See, that time I barely pulled and she went. Ha. Come on. Good girl. So, that wasn't as successful as I hoped it was. <laughs> It would have been some of it's because like I told you I always did train her on the harness her little sister's out here with her bone kind of showing off that she has it and Rosie doesn't and it's a smaller area she's not used to doing this little area but that's the premise of it I would just walk behind her always keep attention on this blue one keeping the red one loose G until I say G and then I'm pulling her Rosie what's back there Oh, the raccoons took some Wonder Bread wrappers back there. Come on, gee. Straight. Straight. And straight obviously means straight. Leave it. Leave it. Okay. Come on. Ha. Good girl. Straight. Straight. I said straight. Straight. Good girl. Stop. Let's go. Turn around. 
Good girl. Good girl. Straight. Shelly, leave her alone. <laughs> Little rascal. Ha! 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 Lead a little bit, pull a little bit like that, and stop. Stop. Chili, you are a rascal. Yes, you are. So this idea kind of came up with my own. I'm sure I'm not the only one who does it uh, from riding horses in the past. I always knew you pull one way or another, or you let, the, you let it go over top of the back of their neck. And that's the way they know how to turn. I'm going to unleash her. But with once you get to that point, I would suggest you do it with one dog, not with two, where it's going to be hard for her to focus. Uh, and I would do it in a bigger area. This is just a backyard. Normally we went up the, the road to where we pull, and <laughs> oh, they're wild. Uh, we went up the road to where we pulled, and she would do it there. So those are the basics for how to get her to turn. And I'll be honest with you. Hey, easy. Easy. Now they're playing. Uh, when we went up the road and we did it, it actually went a lot better. I did it in the winter too for her to get used to the snow. Northeast Ohio, we have a lot of snow. And from using these to going to the bike, G and Ha, there was like little, little transition. It was like she was used to it and she knew it. Hey. Come here, Chili. Chili. Chili, come. Oh, there's a Chili. Chili likes to pick fights, but she doesn't like to fight them. Uh, remember, that's, this is a dog. They are 100% relying on you. If they get crazy and wild, it's because they're looking for direction. You give them the direction, they're going to they're gonna take that direction. Just today out there with her, we, we're at the spot where you can either turn left or turn right. And I change it up that way she's listening to me and not just going the normal path she's used to. And I forgot to say something that time. So her head just went back and forth, back and forth until I said G and she turned G no problem. So they do look for direction, direction from you. Make sure you're always giving the direction or else they're going to get used to trying to be the lead and they're going to be wanting to make the decisions instead of you. Okay, the next step we're going to show you is what my daughter taught her with tight. Uh, that was a hard one for me because I did not think about that with all the other training. Like I said, I'm novice at this. Obviously, she's novice at this. And the tightness is really good for the beginning of the trip. When you first hook her up, you say tight. That way, she, she's the, the rope's tight. When I hooked her up, she sat right by my foot because she was used to me walking with her, staying on my left side. So that'll be our next step. Back to the magical cookies, the things we can get these dogs to do if you give them treats. Uh, so this is what my daughter came up with to teach her tight. We just used the leg of the deck, use whatever. You could use a tree, you could use something. Whatever it is, it's heavy enough for her not to pull it to the side. So we leached her up, we say tight, tight, good girl, tight, tight. Gets it tight, give her a cookie, pretty simple. Tight, take. See how I put it in front of her? That's how you're going to have to start it. You're going to have to put her in front of her so she goes after it. You're not going to be able to put it behind her because see, the further I put it back, she sits down because that was one of the things we, we trained her. Sit down by raising the hand and then she'll sit down. They'll go wherever their heads go. So you say tight. Good girl, tight. Good girl. Good girl, tight. Take. Once again, a lot of verbal praise out on the bike courses or sled courses. You're obviously not going to have cookies throwing them in front of her. So they have to go by verbal praise, obviously food praise at the beginning. At the very beginning, you're just about 100% on food. Uh, once they get that down pretty packed, you're switching from food to verbal and food. So maybe 50-50. Little by little, you wean the dog off of food for, uh, look at her. You wean the dog off of food for the, the praise and it's all verbal praise after that and scratching the ears, letting them know that they did a good job. We did the same thing when potty training them. Okay, Rosie, tight. Oh, nope, she's gonna sit. Tight, come on. Good girl, tight, take. So that was the one that my daughter did. I had nothing to do with that, but she did it for ah, maybe two weeks and I took her out and it was like that. It worked real well. I Now I hook her up. She gets that thing tight right away, this, the rope tight right away. 
I get my feet on the pedal and away we go. Last one that I have not shown you because I haven't done it myself real well is the second speed. I know I talked about needing to do that in my last video. I got the remodeling the house, got the getting another dog. You can see her up there crying. Can you see her up there? She's crying, wanting to come down and play with her big sister. Uh, I have not got the teacher speed or go speed fast mush whatever you want to whatever word you guys want to use but my plan is for that is that you go back to the ropes not the bike go back to the ropes sorry the leashes and then have her run and just tell her good job and give it to her when she does it and obviously turning back and forth going straight for a while turning right coming back for a while that way she'll know that it's not just all the time straight go it's all it's go fast and then also ha or g so that's fantastic doing stuff. That's how I trained my Rhodesia Ridgeback, Rhodesia Ridgeback style, how to become a bike drawer or a pulling dog or hopefully a sled dog. We'll see if the chili dog up here wants to pull. If so, I'm gonna have a sled team. That's how we taught him. She likes it. I get the bike out. She gets excited. Come here, girl. Fantastic, Ridgeback style. If this dog can do it, this guy can train her. So can you.